Okay. Yes, there is an issue with the Fuji X-T2. I've confirmed it now. I've also got a playlist. Well, I have the link below. I've made the most detailed examination of the batteries between the X-T1, X-T2, and the issues of not using X-T1 batteries in your uh, Fuji X-T2 main body. Not if you're going to push it to the limit. If you're just going to take some pictures. I've, I've made plenty and plenty of videos about that. Anyway, I've got two Fuji X-T2s here. In case anybody wants to know, and I know that's going to be the first question, both the chargers that come from the factory for the uh, Fuji X-T1 and the X-T2 are the exact same on the output. It's uh, 8.4 volts at uh, 0.6 amps. So they're both identical. I noticed not only a serious delay recently, I normally don't use this Fuji X-T2, but when I do, I've just been charging the batteries externally or swapping the batteries. But using the uh, vertical battery grip charger, which you're supposed to use to charge the internal batteries for the uh, vertical grip on uh, the X-T2, no bueno. Not only does it take too long, I mean, it took like a bejesus a period of time. And I've tested this over and over again and uh, eliminated it out by testing it on both my Fuji X-T2's uh, vertical grips, that the uh, factory charger that comes with a vertical grip, which, uh, by the way, is 9 volts and 2 amps, okay, it causes excessive, I will not be doing that again, excessive overheating to the point where I'm worried about burning up the charger or causing an issue on uh, the vertical grip. So don't worry, this is, your Fuji X-T2 camera is fine, but I mean, a lot of people that have the camera have the vertical grip. So, um, yeah, how much overheating is it? It's to the point where other than me testing this again two times to confirm it, ain't gonna be doing it no more. What I'm gonna do to solve the issue is, uh, um, you could just say solve it easily just by never using X-T1 batteries in your uh, Fuji X-T2 uh, or its vertical grip specifically is you could solve the issue very simply by uh, charging the X-T1 batteries, which are perfectly fine to use in a vertical grip, but charging them with the charger that came with your X-T2, and then using those as backups. But I am resorting now logically to, on my primaries, as far as what stays in there all the time, you're out in the field and you drain the batteries in your vertical grip, fine. I drop some X-T2 batteries, which I have in my pocket, and then drop them in the grip. That's no issue. But ain't never going to be, yeah, I know I said ain't, ain't never going to be charging X-T1 batteries in my vertical grip anymore with the factory charger from uh, the vertical grip. At um, the same issue that causes uh, me to have the hard crashes, which I, I made two videos proving that I had a hard crash, pushing the camera to the limit and continuous, I bram, where I had total lock up. I was using an X-T1 ba battery in the, in the uh, camera only with no vertical grip. Um, will not be doing that. 9 volts, 2 amps um, versus output versus 8.4 volts and 6 amps. And I made several videos on why it's the uh, profile of uh, how uh, uh, the actual battery not only drains, but also how it accepts the charge. Um, so that's never going to be happening again. I've uh, switched out to my secondary Fuji X-T2 to X-T2 batteries, which are not called X. They're called NP126S, which they have. They're really easy to identify because they uh, Fuji stuck a little orange arrow down here instead of a black and white one. The ones that have the orange little indicator and an orange sticker on the end of the battery, those are X-T2, um, the, excuse me, circular. It's orange on the X-T1 also, except now it's circular instead of square. But uh, the X-T1 battery doesn't have the orange arrow on the side of the battery. So, you know, can I quantify it? Did I take a voltmeter too? No, but it was excessive heating. Not only that, it took a bejesus long period of time to recharge X-T1 batteries in the vertical grip. That combined with the excessive overheating, no bueno, no dice. I know how batteries work, and uh, I mentioned like three weeks ago that the X-T1s have not only different discharge profiles, but I've, you know, I should have known that uh, from uh, the charging. However, I did not pay attention until this point in time. I was like, oh yeah, we got... Uh, 
9 volts and 2 amps output here, which on the X-T2 batteries is no issue. I mean, you stick some X-T2 batteries in your vertical grip and you want to charge it with the, and this is really, really handy, by the way. You charge both batteries at the same time. And there's a dual indicator light back here. It'll show you which one is actually, you can actually barely see it, but there are two little lights down here on the vertical grip. It'll actually, one will blink off, meaning one's charged, and when the last light blinks off, then you know they're both charged. Very, very handy. But don't charge XT1 batteries in your vertical grip anymore. If you want to charge them externally with this and use them as backups, fine. But what I recommend you do is what I did, and that is uh, as primaries, meaning when you head out the door, that's what's in your camera, as primaries, keep XT2 batteries in your vertical grip. You want to use XT1 batteries as backup, uh, backup batteries to drop in the vertical grip. Um, you know, when you're out in the field and, you know, you squeeze the juice out of the ones in your vertical grip, fine. That's no big deal. But don't charge XT1 batteries in your vertical grip. If the heating is excessive, excessive enough to the point where I know I'm going to burn this out prematurely, and I could have an issue, not with the camera, but with the vertical grip. So, is that an issue? Yeah, it is distinctly, uh, denotatively an issue. I've confirmed it with two different vertical grips and two different XT2s sitting here before you. Meow and meow. So, you know, of all the things that could be an issue, really, that's pretty insignificant because all you have to do is change the way you do things, specifically charging your batteries. And this is really handy. It's like, well, I got XT1 batteries. I'm just going to charge them, charge my batteries via my vertical grip. This, not only is it too damn slow, it's way too much heating. Resistance equals heat equals battery degradation, too. Not only, I should have added this, not only do I have heating issues, but I'm causing battery degradation. What I'm doing is I'm choking the battery. You choke the battery, too, when you drain it too fast, especially lithiums, because I'm the guy that actually wrote the article for Apple on taking care of lithiums. So, oh, yeah, on your MacBook Pro and your MacBook Air. It also causes an issue of heating because heating causes lithium battery pack degradation, and if the... Uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, charge profile is too much, you know. It's as bad to choke a battery as it is to try to shove, you know, like a gigantic full sandwich down somebody's throat. That causes heating resistance equals heat, and heat equals lithium battery degradation. So what you're doing by doing that is that you are turning up the speed, if you will, on uh, lithium battery degradation on the XT ones by charging them in the vertical grip. Okay, I hope I made that abundantly clear, lucid, and uh, awesome for you to understand, and uh, that is that. And on a side note, you can see I've got a couple X-T2s here. Love it to death. Uh, other than looking like an idiot, I would lick this camera right now. I've had so much fun with the X-T2s. Excellent camera. It's underpriced. It's overmade. I'm no Fuji fanboy. You know, I, re I was the first person making videos showing lockups. You know, the hard lockup on my X-T2. Turns out it was just me using the wrong battery. You know, I solved that problem. I had this issue, but I've solved this issue also. You know, it's like Fuji don't have to, I don't have to send nothing back to Fuji to fix this problem. It's just by me changing the way and where the hell I place batteries and where the hell I charge them. So I can fix that myself. I don't need to send anything off. So, where does it rate on the scale of issues? Not really high, but it is still an issue. And so, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.